Hey everybody, it's Mike. How are y'all doing? Good to see you. Uh, today we want to do kind of the uh, the unboxing video, as it were, for Stata. Uh, so if you are a student taking your first econometrics course, uh, you've been assigned to use Stata, you've never seen it before, or you're starting a new job using the software, maybe you're translating skills from other platforms, uh, we just kind of want to walk through uh, our first initial look uh, it's data to get you to the point where you can start to play around uh, without any any undue stress, right? Uh, so what we see here is, of course, we're on the the Stata website, and your first question is which version of Stata uh, should I get? Uh, so typically, if you are a a, a student, um, especially an undergraduate student using Stata for the first time in the context of a uh, an econometrics class. Uh, Kind of the, the basic version these days is the Stata IC. Uh, they used to have a quote-unquote student version, which is a very uh, reduced capability version. They don't have that anymore. Uh, so their most basic version can do everything you're going to need it to do uh, and more, right? So we can handle, as we see here, uh, over 2,000 variables, over 2 billion observations. You can run a regression with almost 800 variables on the right-hand side. Uh, and all these other check marks basically tells us uh, this baseline version can do everything the fancier versions can do. It can just do it with fewer variables uh, and a little bit slower uh, relative to this uh, so-called Stata MP version. So rest assured, if you're getting that baseline version, you're going to be in, in great shape. Um, so depending on uh, the scenario under which you are buying it, you may uh, qualify for student pricing or education pricing. Um, and we can take a look at that if we go to purchase and order Stata. And I'm here in the US, so we'll click on that. Uh, and then you see kind of the, the different options for, for who's doing the purchasing. Uh, and again, so obviously this is going to be a little bit different if you're doing this in the context of, uh, of employment. But if we are a student purchasing this for the first time, we go to student, new purchase. Uh, and now the option, so uh, again, we're gonna assume we're gonna stick to the that basic IC version here. Then it's a matter of, are you gonna get it for just one course, basically a semester worth of time, six months, uh, or a full year? Again, it depends on your, your scenario. Or if you think you're gonna be uh, using it uh, for multiple semesters, uh, maybe after graduation, uh, go ahead and get that $200 perpetual license, um, and then you can upgrade it as versions come out. Uh, so again, if you are in kind of introductory econometrics, but you're going to have to take a follow-up class later on, you're probably going to want to get that uh, that annual license. Okay. So let's assume you've made the purchase. Let's jump ahead, right? and let's open up Stata for the first time, and you see a whole bunch of nothing, right? So just a bunch of... Uh, blank space and before we can play around with this we're going to need to import some data right so ultimately we're going to have uh, up in the upper right here a list of variables uh, that have been created so we just want to go through kind of the the three or four most basic ways just to get some data in there to play around with right so we're not talking about doing a research project or anything of that nature that'll all come uh, soon enough down the road right so the first uh, thing we want to take a look up, look at is up in the uh, the menu up here. We've got these these little buttons that look like spreadsheets. Uh, the one on the left with the pencil, that's the data editor. Right? That's where we can actually write in, not with the pencil. We can type in uh, values and variable names ourselves versus the data uh, editor, which is just the browser. Right? So once we have data and we don't want to get it corrupted, that's what we're going to want to do. Uh, but just to start playing around, we can go ahead and click on that data editor parentheses edit button and it's going to bring up our spreadsheet view right so we can go ahead and actually start typing in values right so say if we have uh, an x variable that's going to take on the values right one three five seven nine doesn't matter and a y variable say that's going to take on the values ten eight five three and one obviously you don't want to do this with a uh, an actual data set uh, but just for the purposes of playing around, so everything we do in Stata, uh, whether it's a drop-down menu or typing into the data editor, it's going to have a, 
a set of commands associated with it. We're not going to worry about those right now, but what we see here is a variable one and a variable two uh, listed in our data set. So we are, we are off and running. Right? The other thing we could do, if we go back to the, the data editor, we can, no, we can't do that. We can delete those values and we can, uh, actually, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go drop VAR1, VAR2, go ahead and type that in. Now we're back to a blank uh, data set. Uh, and if we go back to the data editor, and once we kind of recognize this, for the purposes of data entry, acts like a spreadsheet, right? Well, we can just copy and paste right into here, right? So say, imagine we have an Excel file that might look like this with an X and a Y, right? We can just copy right out of Excel, go back to our Stata data editor and control V and paste. And it's gonna ask us if we wanna use the the first row as variable names or data, right? So remember the first row set X and Y. So those are the variable names. So again, state has got us covered there. And there's our observations plugged in. And if we go back to the normal state of window, there's the X and there's the Y. So now once you have some, some data uh, to play around with, you can get to work, right? And seeing what state it can do for us and just clicking on some of these drop-down menus, it's a little bit overwhelming, right? So again, if this is your first day in econometrics, uh, a lot of the stuff we're gonna, you're gonna see, we're gonna cover how to do it, what it does for us, right? In terms of statistics, uh, graphs, right? And uh, some of these summary statistics, those are gonna be pretty familiar um, ways of, of expressing data, presenting data. Uh, and again, once you have your, your data set here, you can't break anything, right? So just go ahead and start playing around with uh, uh, with different graphs, different summary statistics and tables, and uh, and start having fun with it. And obviously we'll add some instruction uh, specifically as we move on. So that's one way to, to create data. I just wanted to talk real quick about another way. So go ahead and type in clear, clear out our data set again. Um, when you look at the Stata manuals, right, which here are all in, uh, PDF form under the help menu, right? You actually used to have books on a shelf, right? Can you imagine that? Uh, but everything's right there. They go through examples of, uh, you know, how to use all the commands, all the options. Uh, and in those examples, they use example data sets. Well, they've made those example data sets available to us, again, to kind of play around with, right? So one thing we can do is use what's called the sysuse command which will allow us to call up uh, some of these uh, data sets that were automatically downloaded with Stata when you purchased it, right? Uh, so if we type in sysuse directory or DIR, that gives us a list of these data sets. And again, you'll see these uh, time and time again in the Stata documentation examples. But once we see something that might look interesting, right? So say, oh, I don't know, this uh, life expectancy dot DTA we can say let's I want to take a look at that data so I'm gonna go sysuse and then just the name of the file life exp and it's gonna drop in the variables of the data set right so if we type in now browse that's gonna bring up you guessed it our data browser and we can take a look at it so this is country level data right with life expectancy per capita GDP and we can start playing around with this, right? Let's clear that out. So again, these are all uh, already right, downloaded into your computer. We can also access uh, example data sets uh, over the internet, right? So if we go up to file, and there's actually an option here called example data sets. So instead of using the sysuse command that will call it up from your Stata system, uh, this will be the webuse command that will allow us to extract data from the Stata website. Right? We'll take advantage of other kind of internet use commands uh, later on. Uh, so if we go down here to Stata 15 manual data sets, so these are all the different books within the uh, 
this data manual, we just kind of click on one, and these are all different data sets, right, that you might see, um, again, used in examples in our uh, in our documentation, right? So say we've got uh, SP500.DTA, so this is a time series uh, data set of the S&P 500 stock index, right? So we say, oh, that, that could be interesting. Let's, we wanna play around with that. So we can type in web use SP500, and there we have it. So again, browse again. This is basically exactly what you'd see out of, say, uh, Yahoo Finance, right? You've got the uh, day by day observations, the open opening price, the high, the low, the close for the day, and the trade volume. And again, once you have that, now you can start to follow some examples and, uh, and play around. So again, just scratching the surface, but now you've got enough uh, to start to, to poke around and see what Stata can do for you. So obviously stay tuned for, uh, for what comes next in terms of specific tasks and graphs and summary statistics. But I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.